I'm gonna try to show you guys how I make my chili recipe. It's not my recipe, so I'm not even gonna take credit. It's, I don't know who the recipe it is. I just, George got the recipe for me, okay? This is the recipe. I'm gonna show you guys everything that you're gonna need before the video, so that way you're not waiting for all the ingredients. And I'm also going to list the ingredients in the description box, okay? So it can be easy on you. This is all the stuff that you're going to need. I'm actually going to get the camera and I'm gonna show you guys exactly what you need okay so right here i have my ground beef you want to get one that's at least close to two pounds i was lucky and i got it for 25 percent off um this morning if it does call for like two pounds of meat it, it could be either a pound of ground beef and a pound of beef stew or you can just do a, a ground beef i honestly love just ground beef by itself some cornbread hopefully i don't get hate but i'm gonna use this i love these so much um, George likes his with chips, so you can do chips too, it doesn't really matter, but yeah, cornbread, I've done it with the cornbread, chips, whatever. And then a whole bell pepper, and the recipe does call for a whole onion, and I think this is a pretty big onion, so I'm going to do just like half the big um, white onion. Then some cheese for your topping, your sour cream is also going to be your topping. One 14 ounce of fire roasted tomatoes and the whole thing of um, tomato paste and you can use either bone broth or beef broth whatever it's both is good you're just gonna need one though and this one is a 30 32 ounce and then these are all your spices you're gonna need i'm gonna tell you how much exactly you're gonna need right now but it's the like onion powder paprika garlic powder cayenne cumin oregano and your most needed one which is chili which i think i'm gonna need the whole thing because i'm already out and i didn't even realize that when i went to the store i put this away because we're not gonna need this till later so what i like to do first i actually like to wash my hands obviously and then you want to start with i like chopping my things first that way like the meat's not burning you know what i mean like oh shoot i have to lower it oh my gosh my food's burning you know what i mean the cool thing about making chili is you can make chili and then the next day you can use it for like to make enchiladas and you can do the red tortillas with the chili and the cheese like you just pour the chili on top of the um the enchiladas i always cut my onion differently like it's never the same Burn is if you don't want your meat to be tough i've learned that you take your meat out of the fridge i don't know if it's true or not or maybe it's just in my head but if you take it out of the fridge that you let it sit at room temperature and your meat would be like soft softer tender is what i'm trying to say now that my um chopping is done I'm gonna put my oven to medium and this is gonna be the pot that I'm gonna use. It's just a regular small pot. I use that pot for literally everything. I actually forgot to mention this part, but um uh, so this is um Uncle Chris seasoning. I use this for everything. So whatever you season your meat with, season your meat with that when you're cooking it. If you're from Texas, get this one. The Uncle Chris. Let me show you the actual bottle. It looks like this. Uncle Chris Steak Seasoning. And I use this for literally all my food, all my meats. You don't want it like to be super hot, remember. The slower you cook, the better the food tastes, I feel like. This time, you wanna kinda like start um, opening your stuff because once this browns and you add your um, onion and bell pepper, you're gonna burn like all this stuff. I'm gonna show you right now how it looks. This is 80-20 meat. So it doesn't carry that much grease. By the way, yes, you need 80-20 ground beef. Okay, now let's wait for this to brown. Still need to clean the house. Let's be a YouTuber. Animal queen. So you've been like browning the meat for like five minutes. You want to add your onion. You don't want to take out the grease yet because you kind of want that onion with the grease. You want it to like saute. Every step is for a reason, okay? Like, be someone that will skip steps, and then I'll be like, well, why, why didn't mine come out like hers? And then it's because I would skip steps. Kitchen hack number two. Kitchen hack number one, 
is have a bowl in your kitchen so you can put the trash in there. And hack number two, kitchen hack number two is have a rag with you so you can clean. Clean as you go clean, okay? And you are going to want to add your bell pepper right now. I'm going to open my tomato paste. See how the grease kind of like it's not there no more? You can take out the grease, which I am going to take out a little bit just because it can get really greasy. And you're going to mess around, who cares? And your tomato sauce, as soon as you add your tomato sauce, you're going to add your fire roasted tomatoes and then your um, beef broth. We're going to start measuring and putting all of the spices. Okay, y'all, we're almost done. And then you can literally walk away and let it sit for two hours and then come back and it's good. Now you're gonna mix in your tomato paste, the entire can. I'm gonna mix it. I know it doesn't look appetizing right now, but I'm wearing your rock. You're gonna put your timer for, let's do two hours right now. And if it needs more salt, you're gonna add salt. Right now, just let it, when you see it boiling, when you start to see like the bubbles forming, then you're gonna wanna put it on like low. Okay, I'll be back. I'll see you guys maybe around, probably come back like around three. I have my cheddar biscuits done. I'll show you guys how I played it and then how I played Georgia's. Now I'm gonna clean up the kitchen, okay? So I'll see you later. We just came back from soccer practice. I'm making some beans. I'm gonna show y'all the beans and then I have um, biscuits cooking. Let me show y'all. So I ended up just making some pinto beans because George actually likes beans with his, um, his chili. And this is how the chili is looking like. I did um, take out a lot of the grease. It was pretty greasy actually. These are the biscuits. Look how good the biscuits look. Alright, I'm gonna try one with you guys. Don't tell me it's not cooked. Dude. Some cheese. A little bit of cheese. It's yeah. So if you do like my chili and if you do make the recipe, let me know under the comments and tell me how it came out. Tell me if your family liked it or not and be honest. I can take criticism. Alright, see you guys in my next video.